adventure continues in episode two. Previously on the last door. Hey guys, this is Close Plays Games, and we're playing the last door. The Collector's Edition. Jeremy Devitt receives a mysterious letter from his childhood friend, Anthony Buslutz. His friend who basically committed suicide. He travels to his friend's manor in Susk, where he learns of Anthony's descent into madness and the death of his wife, Anna Buswich. Just for faces, perils of the house, and finally finds the dead body of his friend who committed suicide. Anthony's final letter warns of you of an unknown danger and asks him to remember his past by going back to the boarding school they both attended years back. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses we for, as we forgive others. Give us this our daily bread. Against our sins, oh, sins, trespasses, same thing. I'm sorry, guys, the chain's obnoxious. Okay. I'll put this aside. Okay. Forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive, for we ourselves forgive our debtors. I don't know this translation. This is a weird one. It's usually and forgive our and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those. It basically is supposed, to, you know, since it's gonna be going the religious route. It's basically supposed to mean forgive other people for the way that they treat you, because God is a forgiving. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. But anyway, this practice isn't biblical. Anyway, I'm not going to get into it, okay? <laughs> Amen. I wonder people who Jesus, they think that's what you're supposed to do. That, if I get into it, it's just look it up. It's a Catholic practice about kind of like self-harm for punishing yourself for sins and the reason why it's not biblical is because Christ already took all punishment for our sins so if you do believe in Jesus or you are a Christian self-harm is not a biblical practice because Jesus took all punishment all sin and all hurt and in the Bible it says there is therefore no more there, there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus not being reborn again Anyway, I'm gonna be that person to be like something. But 
I don't think that's the point of the game anyway. So I'm gonna stop Bible thumping you all and just play the game. Now tell me, where are, where are you? What do you see? Oh God. Yo, bro, I don't know what demons you were messing with, but don't mess with that stuff. Okay. Now tell me, where are you? What do you see? me. <laughs> what is she doing? Get close to her. Get close to Anna. When I count to three, you'll wake up. One. Two. Three. There, now wake up, wake up. You can rest now, Mr. Deviant. There'll be enough for today. Are these sessions really necessary? I think that's what you said. I skipped through it too fast. I am confident that this is the best course of treatment for your symptoms. Now, did you ever see him again? I saw it. What did you see? Can you describe it? I struggled to find out of words. It looked like an eye. It was like an eye. Perfectly rounded and dark, deep and empty, and accompanied by some horrifying pain-filled screams I've ever heard inside a complete darkness where... An evil dwells deep below, a forgotten fear for human reasoning, but undoubtedly still rests deep down inside our brain. In my case, that fear is already woken. I can understand why you are disturbed, Mr. Deviant. With your permission, I would like to consult on your case with a colleague of mine, a man I've known for many years who is more versed in modern psychology practices. I think his knowledge and experience would be very helpful in, in enabling us to understand your condition. If you think it would help, doctor, I leave it in your hands. The agony grows increasingly unbearable. If you believe this man can help, then I welcome his aid. Thank you, Dr. Wakefield. I bid you good evening. me my friend what really happened to you how could you just let your wife Anna die so awfully those doubts consume my soul I hardly remember the time we spent together as schoolmates I confess, I confess that beyond your enduring friendship I can recall little of your those years were your words a result of incredibly loss of sanity in your letters you wrote that someone awaits me a warning to warn me from a genuine danger or merely the ravings of a brilliant mind adult, adult by insanity. Something stirs uneasily within my heart. I will not rest easily again until I go back to that boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Beechworth. Rest now in peace.
episode two, Memories. Angel Gabriel, Gabriel, um, the school's emblem. I remember it being very pristine, but it looks neglected and dirty now. A strong stone eagle lies on the floor. It appears to have broken off out of the fountain. Pardon, excuse me, sister. Good evening, sister. Good evening. I am Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here, Mr. Deviate? I am a former student of the boarding school. As you can see, Mr. Deviate, the school being an academic institution a long time ago and is now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well-being of the patients under our care. I see. Even so, may I please speak to you? Mr. Deviate, I'm afraid... That we are no, we are too busy to start wasting time talking about past issues. In addition, there is little to say. We sisters arrived after the boarding school had closed down. Everybody, most, but Monsieur, of course, Monsieur. Exactly, but you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mister Deviat? It would be good for me to appreciate the passage of time. This place will help me remember. This place will help me remember my past. If you have a memory problems, I would recommend you you to visit a doctor immediately and don't waste your time here. Um, I guess that would be a good idea to visit the place again and perceive the passage of time. Perceive the passage of time? What are you talking about? To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it. I don't tell... I couldn't tell you why this place is so important to me, but it is a lot. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. Deviate. I allow you to stay around here. I hope I won't regret my decision. Don't worry, Mother. Thank you. Oh, put my foot down. Quite old damage. It's a postcard inside a mailbox. Dear Matthew, it has been several months and still I have heard no news from you. My brother insists that you have abandoned me, but I am sure you remain true. I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and the honesty of your eyes. I got this address from a hospital in London and pray that it reaches you safely. If that is the case, I want you to know that I will always, I will be always waiting for you forever. Yours, Juliet Holloway. There's nothing else inside the mailbox. A locked wood coffin, bare, badly finished. Seems like whoever made it is a bit rushed to finish. A grave recently dug. Good evening. I hope you are all right, and this turns me out indeed a good evening. My name is Deviat. I didn't know there was a graveyard here. My pleasure, Mr. Deviat. I am Frank Baldwin. Do not ask me why, but Monsieur specifically asked something to dig. I didn't read it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why I do not understand. I should let you get back to work.
I don't understand. Did he order you to bury corpse here? Why? I don't understand. What is there to understand, Mr. Evitt? God has forsaken this place. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your work. Have a nice evening. Crazy thing it does. Lots of coffee. All these graves. Perhaps I really arranged. People died. Many years drift have perfectly smooth this port from the into a log. A lost pilgrim, a sea stack older students on the school used to climb. Somewhere look there are my initials. Blocks from the inside. You're, you're not allowed to get in there. Fine. What's up, sister? Do you? Did you say that you cared for patients? Of course, Miss Didia. We tend to both the physical and spiritual needs of those in our care. Mr. Moser already lived here. You did you say Mr. Moser already lived here when this venue still was a boarding school? Indeed, he still was priest and professor bef before he became Monsieur and started to lead this place. Who is Mr. Baldwin? Monsieur instructed me to to take him on as a caretaker. Many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains little. Could I talk to Monsieur? I'm afraid that's impossible. Monsieur has left strict instructions that he not be disturbed, not even by uh, any of the sisters. Oops, sorry. Have there been any deaths, Miss... Mother Elizabeth, Mr. Brawlin told me that lately a lot of patients are dying. What is happening? Sadly, the Lord is taking many of these unfortunate souls. Thanks, Mother. I leave you with your duties. What's up? Dusty the old chaps of Virgin Mary with baby Jesus. What's up, Jesus? Mother Mary. Worn out and faded traps tree of Jesus Christ. Another trap tree, though, I remember from my school days, the student dormitory was here. properly. Sister? Sister? All the 
suffering all these tears, all our prayers unanswered. What do you mean, sister? All these years and trust the Lord, praying, looking for a sign, for something that can give me strength. Every day I hear them cry, pray, scream, and die, and what for? Where are you, Lord? Why don't you answer me? First of all, I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. It's okay if you do. Second of all, I'm not going to do that when someone's in a crisis of faith. That's kind of me. Lord works in mysterious ways. The Lord works in mysterious ways, sister. Certainly, yes, but I don't ask for much. Just something to go on, a path to follow. I can't go on not like this. Excuse me, sir. Sister, please, I just want to be left alone. Please, I just want to be left alone. <laughs> On the upper shelf, an empty cupboard, a well-worn Bible, and rosary beads are gathering dust. Have a blessed night. Try not to be doing anything crazy. Love the people around you. And until the next time, quote out. Bye.